Breaking news in downtown LA. The LAPD arresting at least two people accused of breaking into those tagged skyscrapers overnight. Police believe trespassers are still inside. KTLA's Annie Rose Ramos live at the scene with the latest for us. Annie Rose, good morning. Hey, Jessica and Frank, good morning to you both. Police officers just holding a press conference a couple of minutes ago confirming that they have arrested two people for trespassing into Oceanwide Plaza that you can see here behind me. But they do at this hour believe there are more people still inside. They sent a search party a couple of minutes ago of police officers into the building to search. They said a limited sweep on the first floor, but they came out and said they found no one. However, they did hear voices somewhere coming from somewhere in the building, which leads them to believe again, people are still inside. The sergeant telling us, however, conditions are just too unsafe for police officers to do a full sweep of every floor. Listen. There's a lot of open wires, uh, uh, exposed wires, exposed rebar, exposed metal sticking out of the sides of the building. It's, a, it's not a safe place to be up. I won't even send the officers up there right now to even search the building. It's just so unsafe. There's water everywhere on the floors. There's no filtration system to filter the water down. There are pools that are unfinished, and now the pools have filled up with water for all the rain. So um, in the bathtubs, there's bathtubs in some of the rooms, and those bathtubs are filled up with water from the rain. It's, it's pretty disgusting. All right, this is what the task force that went into Tower One looked like. A total of 18 officers, some of them holding foam guns. You can see them there walking across the street, heading inside the complex as the LAPD chopper flew around the building, coming on their loudspeaker saying, come out with your hands up. Now, we do also have video, I'm not sure we have it to show you right now, of police bringing into custody one of those two who were arrested. They look to be a young adult put into a squad car. We know the two arrested hopped the fence at around 2 a.m. this morning and were later found by a security guard inside and arrested at around 7 a.m. But a big frustration here is that even after these arrests, many offenders are let go and and come back and do it again. The police captain speaking more to us about that. Listen. Anybody in this uh, in this uh, in this ocean wide plaza building will be physically arrested, booked, photographed and then released uh, if they meet the criteria for release. Uh, in, in many circumstances, we're asking we're asking for magistrate review, given the, the likelihood that they will come back and continue to try to get into this place. Uh, that's what we'll be asking with these two is asking the, the judge, you know, can you hold them until they, they uh, uh, until arraignment, basically. All right, we want to go live here. This is that new fence that's been constructed around the entire perimeter. We are told it's going to be done by this week. It is higher and harder to climb. You can see on the other side is that old chain link fence. That is what they're slowly trying to remove and quickly get the new fence up before any more trespassers come and try and get in to this uh, ocean wide plaza. But we know as of this morning, two arrested and they are waiting to see if any more come out. Reporting live, I'll send it back to you guys in the studio.